So hi everyone, today I'm here to do an unbagging for you. I just received this item from Amazon. It's not a coach item, but it's a bag. It's a handbag that I just purchased. Well, I purchased a few days ago from Amazon and I tried that feature that Amazon has that uh, try before you buy feature. So this came in a bag. Um, let me open it so you can see what I have here. So it's not a bag that I usually go for. It's it's kind of big, but um, uh, we'll see. We'll see. So <laughs> it's not a the brand that you're expecting. This is actually a Steve Madden bag. It's um I, I actually did not buy this bag because it's a do for another bag. If you know what I'm talking about, it's not that's not the reason that I bought it. So here is the bag. It's the Steve Madden Brita. I think it's called the Steve Madden Brita bag. And I've seen people buy this bag and they love it. They love this bag a lot. Um, once I saw the packaging, I knew it was bigger than I thought it was going to be. But it's in the denim. It's in the denim um, material. And it does come with two chain straps here. And, okay, you can look at it. The Steve Madden is pretty nice. It's pretty nice up here it's very substantial the chains are substantial chains pretty substantial chains and this is what it is doesn't have any pockets on the outside and let's see what the handle look like it's um you know maybe fake leather it's not I don't, I'm sure it's not real leather but let's go on inside guys wait before I do all that let me show you if I could see oh it's called the Brita and it's the denim shoulder bag and it's retails for $108 I know I'm all over the place today but this is what the inside of the bag looks like I need to bring you a little closer maybe so you can see. Let me put all this stuff on the floor so you can look and take a peek on the inside of this bag. I've never seen this bag in person. I've seen it on YouTube and I've seen it on Amazon, on Macy's website. And I've never seen this in the store. But um, let me show you what the inside of this bag looks like. Let me try to do it this way so it has pretty big pocket here to put your phone another one right here it's a little smaller because all my fingers could fit in this one and only about four fingers I mean I guess could get all the fingers in there but it's it's not as big as the this one and then you have this zipper pocket at the back and if you look, you can see that it has that fabric here that um, has the Steve Madden all over. And this fabric is more, you know that fabric that the coach dust bag comes in? It's like that silky one that's not that, not that great. It's that type of fabric on the inside. And it's pretty, pretty roomy. The, the denim material is not as, it's more of a soft denim. It's not, it's, you know, it's, it's, it feels like denim, but it's not very thick. It's more of a soft denim. It's not the type of denim that you would expect to get with your pants. It's softer. It's, um, and this is sort of a, uh, I guess it, it could be puffy, but it's not really puffy or it should be puffy. It's not really a puffy bag. 
I thought it was going to be a little bit puffier, but it's not really a puffy bag. But this is what it looks like. It's um okay. Let me see if I could, because I didn't do forgot to look up the measurements, and I don't think I have my iPad close to me. I do have my computer over there though. And um, it is about, let me see, side to side. It's about 12 inches. Wait, let's, let's make sure before I say that. Okay, the centimeters on that side, this is inches. So from the, this side, if I'm gonna measure it that way, from all the way from one side to the next side, it's about 14, 14 and a half, 15 inches. So it's a pretty big size bag. It's not as small as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was a little smaller than this. And it's about 11 inches high. So I did do, like I said, I did do that try before you buy a feature. So, I just have to figure out if I like it enough to keep it because it's about, it, I think it costs about $75. It's not as sturdy as I would like it to be, but let me go ahead and put a little bit of stuff in here. I have to keep on, I have to remember to stop, adjust the camera from that side. Okay, so as usual, I have my Nolita 19. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. You could hardly see it. See it. It's all the, way, all the way in there. This bag have no problem. You know what? Just for to see, I'm actually going to put my computer in there and see if it's going to fit. And this is an 11 inch Mac. I don't think it's gonna fit this way. Wait, let's see. No, it won't fit this way, but let's try it this way. It fits, but it probably wouldn't close. It's not gonna fit just because it has these chains here. But if you're in a bun and you have this bag, at least you know, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think that would look right at all. But I have my notebook here and I'm gonna go ahead and this is definitely gonna fit because it's a pretty big size bag. And doesn't look like anything in, in the bag, even with this notebook and my Nolita 19 in it. All right, I don't have my iPad with me. I would try my iPad in, it, in this bag to see if it would fit, but I don't have my iPad with me, but it's pretty lightweight. It's a pretty lightweight bag. And this is the drop on the bag. Let's see. So I just have uh, one of those, what? It's not, oh, now I see. What everybody was talking about. You have to actually search for, oh, there it goes, the clip. I don't know, it's a pretty big bag. It's a pretty good size bag. It's actually cute. It's a cute bag, but it's, it is a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. You know, we know that we need to look at measurements, but we, we oftentimes don't look at the measurements. And it's, it's pretty cute. And um, the chain is pretty, a good heavy chain, which I'm actually surprised. I thought the chain was gonna be super light and flimsy, but this chain is pretty weighted. This chain has pretty good weight on it. You know, it, it, it's sort of like 
the cold chain, to be honest with you, it is not flimsy and it does remind me of some of my coach bags. And I do like this handle, this thing. And for $75, I don't think it's a bad buy, but I don't know if it's mine. If it's, you know, if it's something that I would use only because it's, it's pretty big. It's kind of cute though. So guys, tell me what you think about this bag. I'm still thinking about it. And on, um, on Amazon they have, or even on Macy's, I could link it in the description box. So this bag comes in black denim as well as this one. And I think it does come in regular black puff, puffer, puffy, black puffy, white, it comes in black, white. I think they have a pink, very bright pink color of this bag, but I oftentimes like to go with something that's everybody doesn't have or you know just something different I, I like going with the different stuff so so this is the bag if you want to see um more of what fits in the bag because you do know this bag is pretty big this bag is pretty big so it's gonna fit a lot this is what my notebook and my Lolita 19 looks like in this bag Pretty much not even there it's not even there I would think the computer would fit except it's a tight fit when you turn it across and it's a little bit too high and I really don't have anything else to show you that fits I only have card cases with me at this moment I have my my um what do you call this thing Power bank. I have my power bank right here, and I'm gonna slip it in the smaller pocket. So my phone is a little bit bigger than this, but this does go in the smaller pocket. If I was supposed to keep this bag and use it, this does go in the smaller pocket. I have, and I'm still using my Dreamer at this point. I'm still using my Dreamer bag. I just shorten the strap and use it as a shoulder bag my card case my other card case okay i could start feeling a little weight but this bag is it's, it's still pretty light i wish i brought a bottle of water i have a bottle a bigger bottle of salsa water with me I wish I brought a smaller bag bottle to show you, but I'm still gonna try to drop it in to see if it fits. And I don't want it to get wet in there because it's a little cold. Eh, it, no, it's um, it's it's a little too high, but of course a water bottle will fit in this bag. And I see you, you know, yeah, I guess it's closed. It closes pretty nicely, but you actually have to search for the clip to close it. I kind of don't like that because I feel like you should just be able to clip it. So, okay, guys, I don't know if I'm keeping this bag or not, but it is a cute bag. And I did not, like I said before, I did not buy this bag because it's a dupe for another bag. I actually bought this bag because I thought it was really cute. And I liked the way it looked online. You know how we buy things that look really nice online. But then when you get it, you're unsure. That's how I feel about this bag. And it came from Amazon. And I did not pay anything for it because I did the try before you buy to see how I would feel about the bag. And I'm pretty much into denim. Oh, let me try this as a, let me take this off. I don't want to take too much stuff off because I don't know if I'm keeping it. But I want to take that off to see how it slides. If you want to wear it as a crossbody bag, it's pretty big, but I'm 
this way because the tag is on. And as a crossbody bag, this thing would be super, super long. So yeah, guys, it's not it's not the most ideal crossbody bag that you could buy. Because I'm not really a thin person and the bag is all the way down here. Yeah, it's not the most ideal bag if you decide to wear this bag as a crossbody bag. It's not the most ideal crossbody bag because the strap is super long, super long. And it doesn't slide that great either. I'm gonna see. Yeah, it's not really the greatest bag. Well, this part has the tag on it, so it doesn't slide that great. Oops. Okay, well, guys, this is it for my video. I got this because I know a lot of people have been interested in this bag lately and I saw it and I, I was interested in this bag but now that I have it I, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep it and if I do keep it I'll let you know and I usually like my bags to also be crossbody but this bag is not an ideal crossbody bag at all it's way 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 too long to be a crossbody it's a it's I mean once I put all my stuff in there actually looks cute it looked huge before i put my things in there but now that it's filled it actually looks pretty pretty good but it's not that great as a crossbody and I'm, I'm not sure if i'm keeping it but i'll let you know if i do and i'll link link this back in the description below so here you have it guys the steve madden brita bag all right Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. And I hope you come back for more content like this. If you enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.